Good afternoon everyone, welcome to another video in the Drawn to the Top series where I sketch from various tall places here in Singapore and right now I'm at Henderson Wave Henderson Wave is basically this very high overhead bridge that connects that side of the park to this side of the park so there are some really beautiful residential estates here but I'm not going to draw this view today because the sun is actually pointing right into my face instead I'm going to draw this side today is a bright and sunny day which is a very good day for sketching but it's also a very hot day what I like about this scene is there is a lot of light and shadows so you can discern the shapes very well it's actually a pretty nice bridge it's just that right now in the late afternoon there is just no shade I have to move a bit further down the bridge so that I can get my sketchbook in light this is the same sketchbook that I'll be using today the Strathmore Visual Journal and this is the scene that I'm going to draw today Alright, this is the sketch as it is. I'm actually quite satisfied with it even though there were some ink smears. I'm not sure how long I took to sketch this but I probably did not take a very long time because it's really sunny here and I can feel that my legs are burning up. I'm probably going to get some sunburn uh, tomorrow on my legs. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the sketch. So for this particular building here, I did not draw in all the windows because I'm going to color this sketch with watercolor um, in a separate video. I'm going to use the watercolor brush to basically add in all the windows, just um, basically just painting the windows as if they are dots using the watercolor brush. This is much easier compared to drawing all the windows using pen and ink. And the same applies to this building here. I left out most of the windows. I just drew in some of the windows as a sort of a guide that I can use later on to paint with the watercolor. Here's a close-up of that building earlier. So as you can see, my lines are not perfectly straight. It's very challenging to draw really straight lines while standing and sketching and holding the sketchbook like this. So this particular line here, it's really wobbly. The same as this line here. It's almost like, an, like a snake. For the buildings in the foreground, which is basically these few blocks of buildings, it's a bit easier to draw them because I can see the details a bit more uh, clearly. The ink that I'm using is Noodleless Bulletproof Black Ink and it doesn't dry very fast. I thought it's going to dry pretty quickly because I'm under the sun but even after a few minutes the ink did not dry and I accidentally just uh, smear over some of the areas here. And that's why we have all these splotchy areas here and also some of the areas here which is um, which doesn't look very nice. So for the buildings in the background, I use really thin lines to draw them. For the trees in the foreground, I basically just drew the lines where I can see really strong contrast. So where the lines are, I will be painting that edge with really strong contrast, maybe close to black color. 
and there is actually a road that leads up to all the residential and office buildings and the trees continue from left to right you see these vertical lines here um, when I paint it over with green color it's probably going to cover all, all these vertical lines here so it's not really that big a problem Alright, that's all for today's video. I'm very hungry. I'm going for a dinner. See you in the next video. Bye!